thing we're going to try is the full pirouettes. And those of you who practice this, you'll find out a full pirouette is easier to do than a half pirouette. A full pirouette is always easier to do than a half pirouette. Um, so when you're practicing your, your full pirouettes, don't leave out the process of going through the half pirouette before you get to the full pirouette so that you control the hind leg. The danger be, uh, being is that you lose that forward thrust. And just then on the center line, just think about the half a turn and then come back down the center line toward us. Half halt. Yeah, and go out. Very good. So again, just think that you're riding two half a turns to be able to keep the horse nicely sitting on the spot. Just think about it. Whoop. Yeah, that's it. And go out. A little bit more active on your left hind leg, Debbie. Left leg. Jump, 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 jump. And go out. Oops, come on. <laughs> Turn left. But again, think about the jump behind so he doesn't lose the feeling of going forward in the canter even though he's in the pirouette. Try to keep the feeling of forward. Keep the feeling of forward. Ride him forward. Ride him forward. That's better. And a change and then give him a break. The thought process has to be continue to keep the canter. You've got to continue at all costs to keep the canter. Don't, think, don't get so involved in bringing that horse around that you, you lose the canter stride. Because then you lose the rhythm and the horse can't carry himself. He can't transfer his equilibrium to the rear. Loses his balance, gets his legs tied up, or his head in here, or he slides so fast to the left. Same thing as we did with the full pirouette. Just concentrate, and you saw it happening. How the canter got bigger and bigger, and the canter, uh, during the small circle, actually maintained its sequence of rhythm. Forward, active, not too small, bigger, 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 forward, forward, working pirouettes in the beginning. Um, make it big, not too small in the beginning. Always when you start out, even if the horse knows the pirouette, start them out big. It's too easy to lose the hind legs. Keep the inner leg. Think of only the canter. Keep the left rein. Keep it forward, forward. Get out. Get out. Get out. Good. Yep. It's all right. You're going to have to try to push him a little bit more through to the right. This is where we could do a little bit of trave to the right. The haunches in, track to the right would help push this off. Debbie, let's do a diagonal change and let's do that a little bit. Think about keeping the canter. Good right bend. Ride him through, a little bit rounder, give some half halts. Yep, supple and give. A little more, a little more, good girl. A little more, good, good. Straighten before the corner. The next long side the same. <clears throat> supple, supple, and that's plenty of angle, that's plenty of angle. Yep, a little bit more bend to the right. Yep, supple and give, good girl. Good. And straighten before the corner. Collect him in the short side on the diagonal change. Okay. Smaller now, please. Keep your seat in your leg extra close and think about riding. Make him jump. Make him jump. Supple and give. Make him jump. Make him jump. Good girl. Better. Forward, forward, and get out. Good, better. <clears throat> okay, take a break. You could see he definitely went more through, and he was a little bit rounder through the top line. He was a little bit uh, not quite coming through on the right side, so hunches in in that moment in the canter to keep the quality of the canter, to make him more supple, step more under, helped his horse to be able to keep his 
balance in front and not losing the connection and, and learn that he has to stay around and underneath for the pirouette so he didn't lose it. Let's try a pirouette to the left. We need to talk about this just a little bit once Shelley's done one, please. Good, good. Think of the canter. Forward. Keep the right rein. Keep the right rein. Not so much inside rein. Not so much in the rein. That's all right. The end of it was okay. It was all right. That's all right. A couple more times he'll be through. Go forward. Go forward. Okay, make a half circle and go back and do the left side again. Go forward a couple strides once you get the left lead. Forward, yeah. Yes, thank you. Good. Good, super. That's exactly what you want to do when you come in the beginning of the pirouette, all right? Keep him up in front of you like that. Take your time, not too much the hand. Don't rush, don't rush. Go forward, inside hand forward, inside hand forward. Okay. Other side, please. A little bit more right bending. Careful. Use the seat in the leg. Remember, just be careful of the inner rein. Forward. Out, out, out. Good. Go forward. Yeah, once more, be a little bit more careful in the transition back. Do it on the diagonal this time, please. Easy. Good girl. Good, good. Keep it going, keep it going. Now forward, up, gently, gently. Quiet, quiet. Good, better, super. Okay, let's come on the diagonal now and do the right pirouette once more. Left leg, right leg, left, forward, 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 good, better. Okay, take a break. Had him take a break. So that you always remember that you have to keep your gait as pure as possible. Like we said, I mean, the canto itself is a little bit of a slower stride to go into the pirouette. Just like your half halts, your canto just gets a tiny bit more slow. It's not quite the same, maybe the same tick, da 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 but but you want to feel that he is in front of the leg and you don't have a feeling of him backing away and losing that feel of forwardness while he goes into the pirouette. That's why small circles, to be able to make a small circle and keep the cadence and keep the forwardness and keep all that going, and then maybe introduce a little bit hunches in, then introduce a little bit the half pass and keeping it all together. And that all helps to keep the hunches moving and making sure that your legs don't just stick in the ground and pushing out and falling out and, and all those kind of things naturally which can happen in the training of a pirouette. But you always want to make sure you don't keep him in longer then he can hold his balance, then send him away, take him out of the turn, not chasing him away, but take him out of the turn so he knows that he did two, three strides really wonderful. Otherwise, if you're sitting in the turn too long, even if it's one or two strides too long, then the movement falls apart and he didn't really know that he did it well.